Hey guys, Laura from Pete's RV Center. Uh, we are standing in front of a 2016 Outback 326 RL. Um, it's one of their newest campers, um, so it's going to have all the upgraded features as I go through it. Uh, I will point those out. Uh, one of the first things you're going to notice on the front of the camper is this power tongue jack. It makes everyone's life a lot easier. You have um, a front um, a button to turn on the light, the docking light if you're unhooking in the dark, as well as a button to move it up and down. Uh, 30 pound propane tank right in the front and then there is a spot for dual batteries right behind that. Um, obviously you will notice this one nice one piece um, fiberglass front cap on here. What they've done different this year, I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, um, but they um, put an extra coating um, on the bottom half of the front cap and that's just to help protect it. Um, you'll see the new graphics have some red in them too. Uh, front cap obviously wraps around the side of the camper which is very important when you are um, you know, anytime there's seams, you need to be worried about water getting in. So um, having the front cap wrap around the sides is definitely great for that. Um, again, the um, there will be a heated enclosed underbelly on the outback as well. Um, so your front is enclosed, uh, your bottom is enclosed, and then if you look up the top, that's actually your roof wrapping over as well. So as much as they can do, um, outback definitely goes uh, the extra mile to make sure the camper is built and has a quality construction. Um, you will see the frameless tinted windows on here as well. So just another upgraded feature that the Outback has to offer. I think it gives it a really, really nice look. Um, you will see below here some power stabilizer jacks. So you do have a power tongue jack up front and you have power stabilizer jacks. Um, over here is also your spot for a TV hookup if you want. It has cable and an outlet, um, outside speakers as well, and a scare light. Your awning is electric um, as well, so another upgraded feature. They have also added the aluminum steps now, um, which is great, especially if you have pets. Um, you don't need to worry about their um, nails getting through the holes and the other steps and the steel steps. Also, uh, less slippery as well. Um, you do have a nice big slide out here. Again, frameless tinted windows throughout the entire uh, camper. And then I do want to point out the upgraded aluminum rims on the Outback as well. Um, a nice big grab handle as we walk in. So let's head inside. I'll show you some other features that uh, the Outback has to offer. All right, so we're inside. Um, this particular floor plan um, is the rear living so no bunks in here um, but you have a lot of space especially with the opposing slides on both sides um, so when it when they are both opened up as they are now there is a lot of room in here that does have an arched interior ceiling as well um, ducted air conditioning and LED lights throughout the entire camper um, you do have a nice TV in the back um, along with a fireplace. This is an electric fireplace, so it's nice. It's uh, You can heat up your camper, actually, um, and not have to waste propane tanks or, or waste propane. Um, you do have seating over here, on actually on both sides, and a ton of windows in here. Um, you do actually see the um, windows on opposite ends of the slide out, which are nice, um, which is nice because you'll have some cross breeze. You have upgraded cloth blinds on here. You can pull that down as you see. So upgraded cloth blinds, um, and then you will have some storage drawers underneath um, the dinette as well. These pull right out. So you do have extra storage. That's on both sides of the dinette, and the dinette obviously will fold down into extra sleeping. Um, the couches also fold out, or just this couch actually, will fold out into sleeping. Um, these are going to be recliner chairs. Uh, in the kitchen area, you do have the upgraded um, solid surface countertops, which give it a really, really nice look. Again, that upgraded feel, very residential. Um, and you have stainless steel appliances throughout. Um, you have your stainless steel undermount sink. Um, actually, stainless steel faucet. But it is the nice, nice deep sink. Um, and it's not split bowl. A lot of people don't like the split bowl sink um, just because it kind of cuts your sink space in half. All right, and then you do again have stainless steel stove and microwave. The refrigerator, I definitely want to point out, you have two double refrigerators, which is great. Um, both of them are eight cubic foot, um, so you can, I mean, it turns out to be 16 cubic feet of um, refrigerator and freezer space. Um, this floor plan also has a pantry, which I definitely want to point out to you. Um, don't see that in a lot of campers, but uh, on the rear living sometimes you do, which is nice. You do have a lot of extra storage space. There's a coat hook as well. 
And then as we make our way into the bathroom, upgraded porcelain toilet. Um, so very residential, just like you see in your house. And then you do have um, an extra entrance into the bedroom um, and you have your off vanity and mirror above that. Um, nice big shower, if I can show you guys. So this is the kitty corner shower. Lots of room, obviously you see the antifreeze, this camper has been winterized. Um, and then you do have the vent right above the shower. Again, LED lights throughout the entire camper as I walk around. I'll show you guys the bedroom quickly. I do want to point out um, this Outback is upgraded with the in-command system. Um, so it's basically Keystone um, only has it in Montana's, which is a very high-end fifth wheel, and the Outbacks, which is a very high-end travel trailer. So basically with your in-command system, um, you can do anything electronic on um, the camper. So put down your jacks, put out your awning, put out your slides, turn on your lights. Um, it helps diagnose um, electrical problems and things like that. And there's also an app that you can download on your phone so you can control everything in your camper from your phone as well. It's pretty cool system. Um, and let's head into the bedroom. So this floor plan does have a bed slide um, in it. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus and lighten up. It um, does have a bed slide and it is a king bed, um, which is definitely upgraded and nice. You'll see the cloth blinds. And then because of the bed slide, you now have this nice big wardrobe up front. Um, basically takes up the whole um, front of the camper. All right, guys, that was a quick look um, at the Outback spot for a TV. Just want to show that too. And then this camper does have um, two air conditioners. Um, so a quick look at the Outback 326 RL. Uh, if you have any questions on the Outback product or any uh, campers that you see on our inventory, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, we stock over a thousand campers in our inventory at all times. So uh, regardless what you're looking for, we probably have it. Um, again, you watched a quick rough cut with Laura at Pete's RV Center. Thanks so much, guys. Happy camping.